Before we start, just a few things. Look what I stumbled upon on my map. I don't know if you can actually see it. Hold on. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. These are little resin drips that had a little bit of glitter in them that I picked off of the mat. Look how pretty those are. They look like little droplets, little uh, bling blings. So maybe that's something else to uh, test on this mat, making your own little embellishments. I just thought that was really cool. But anyway, I wanted to also mention that this silicone mold that I removed, you can reuse this. All you would have to do is place it back on the mat in the shape that it was, and then just go around the edge here with some fresh silicone just to seal it back down to the mat. And this way you would save a bunch of money because you'd be able to reuse this. Okay? All right, now I promise on to the next part. All right, so next step. What I need to do is go around the edge here. There's a couple little flyaway pieces that I'm just going to take my razor knife and simply slice them off. It's a nice sharp blade. Just holding on to the corner of the geode and breaking loose all these little flyaway pieces. Now, the resin is not, it's still a little tiny, tiny bit tacky. Um, I told you I was going to let it sit overnight, but I decided to do this now while it's nice and soft. So, I'm just going to weasel away at these edges. Also, if you have a really good sharp pair of scissors, you may be able to trim it that way too. See, I'm just able to cut right through there. Just to get rid of those little pieces that get stuck on the inside of the silicone barrier. They're little tiny thin pieces. Now, if you let it sit overnight, you will have to probably use a sander to get rid of them. But since I am not, I'm just using my knife. Scissors, whatever you have. Alright, so I'm going to go around the whole edge and just get rid of... I don't have many, just a few here and there. Like, there's a couple over here. Not many. So let me do that and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I have my edges all cleaned up, here's the deal. Because I am putting this into a shadow box, the sides are pretty irrelevant. Um, as you can see, they have some grooves in them from where the silicone I did layer upon layer. So, what you can do if you want, and I am not going to, is you could take a sander and try to sand this down to get it smooth. And then once it's smooth, do an entire coat of clear over the whole thing just to freshen it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my sides. Here's a good... This was from layer one. I'm going to paint my sides with silver leaf. Okay. And then I will look at it and see whether or not I feel it still needs another clear coat. So I have my silver leaf here, the same one I added into the resin. 
going to give it a shake. I'm going to get an old brush that I don't care about because this stuff is very hard to get out of bristles. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. I'm going to give it a nice sniff because I love the smell of this stuff. <laughs> and here we go. So just dip your brush in there. This brush is really ratty looking. Don't let it drip on your piece. Be careful. And then you're going to come in here just like this and paint up the sides, being careful not to get it on the top. I'm not going to worry about the back of it because it's going to be affixed in the shadow box and you're not going to see it. But if you want to paint the back, you can do that too. Now, see, me using a really jacked up brush like this is kind of dangerous because those bristles are going all different ways and I could get the top. So, it is a little careless of me to be using this, but I'm going to be trying very, very hard not to get anything on that top. Okay, so I'm going to go around, I'm going to paint the entire thing, and then I will be right back. Okay, so you can see this is the edge, I went all the way around, and then also the inner edge, up in here, where it was white, went all the way around. So now, we are going to try to fix this beauty into the shadow box. Hopefully it'll fit. Okay guys, so we are at the end of the journey for the Freeform Geode. Came out really, really pretty. Sorry about the light. Here are the sides, all painted. So now, the bad news. It does not fit in my shadow box. It is literally off by two centimeters. <laughs> So I have to go buy a bigger shadow box. But what I did was I'm going to use this freeform geode just for display purposes so I can show you what I'm planning on doing. I almost just fell. So what I'm planning on doing with a bigger shadow box is I have some command strips. I'm going to attach just the fuzzy side, the part with the teeth that grab into material because this is material okay I'm gonna glue those onto the back of the geode and I'm gonna secure it onto this fuzzy background now if that doesn't work this fuzzy background can be removed and there's a piece of thick cardboard underneath that I can just paint a solid color and then I will physically glue this to the cardboard with um, hot glue or whatever, uh, maybe some E6000, whatever I can get it to stick to. Usually I can get E6000 to stick to resin, so it would probably be that. Um, so I'm going to attach it like that. And then somebody suggested fairy lights. So what I would have to do is I have a set of fairy lights here, but they're too long. So I'd have to find the shortest set that I could get and arrange them somehow on the inside of this up against the wood. Maybe just tack them down with something, a little tiny drop of glue just to hold them. And then I would have to drill a hole in this box right through the side to stick the cord through so that I could put the battery pack on the side of the piece so you don't see it. But I'm not sure if I want to go through all of that trouble to get them inside of the box. I mean, it's a beautiful they're beautiful on their own. If somebody knows an easier way to install lights in there, maybe that would work. But for display 
purposes. I'm going to just put this on there and then we're going to see what it would look like with some of those in there. So it would light it up a little bit. Um, probably would be pretty. But I mean, it's they're beautiful on their own, as I said. You know, you have all this sparkle. And, um, yeah, so that's going to conclude this. I got to buy a bigger box for this one. And then I will, like I said, attach it in there and put it up for sale. It's a beautiful piece. Absolutely beautiful. So if you have any questions, just leave them below. And um, if you haven't already, would you please subscribe to my channel? And... I hope you all have a great night. Happy pouring.